Holy crap. I look like this. Good morning, guys. So I have been unpacking. I've been fortunate enough to be home all day yesterday and half day today. So give you guys an update. It does not look good, but we're making progress, y'all. Because you know how much it's been bothering me that I can't clean my freaking house. And we're watching um, Sausage Party. It is ridiculous. Anyway, if you haven't seen it, watch it. But we have little old tiny meatloaf guarding the door. But so far I've cleaned all this. All that's left are just frames in those two boxes. So I need to figure out what to do with this because this is the formal dining area. But like I've mentioned before, there's nothing formal about us. So uh, party room, maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a little fun playroom here, maybe? Yeah. Um, and then this side is what I call the Christmas tree room. Um, I just have stuff that goes on the walls. I have to build this, like it's a glass cabinet type thing. And there's more frames in there. There's games in there. And these are just decorative items that could just stay here. This coffee table was gonna go, or it was initially, in our living room. But because there are so many damn sharp corners... I'm just so scared for Taika's life, so I'm not putting it anywhere where Taika's going to kick it a lot. So I'll put it in this area. It's a pretty big damn coffee table. Um, and I didn't think it was going to fit in this room, but this room's pretty fucking big too. So, okay, so anyway, that's happening. Um, and then, don't know if I ever showed you guys an update on my room. The very least at my closet. I do want to get my closets professionally done, but bro, I didn't realize how expensive that shit is. So this is, you guys are going to laugh. Okay, so this is Paw Bear side. So, okay, we'll go back. This is our front door. You walk in. This is the front door to the masters. And then this is the closet. So he's got some of our suitcases, some of his pants. He organizes it pretty nicely. His shoes. Okay. So this is the extent of his corner. Y'all are going to laugh. Oh, God. This is so not fair. Okay. So that's Papa's. And he still has all of this whole thing, which is hilarious. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Here's my side. <laughs> Fuck. <gasps> this is fucking ridiculous. Like, what? <laughs> I still got some room. And I have this whole thing, okay? So it's not that crazy. And those are actually for Papa. I don't... Okay, and I have this shit I still got to organize. Like, these are like my workout clothes. Bikinis. This miscellaneous things I don't know what to do with yet. This is the temporary for now. Papa did make a good point. But I don't think I'm going to change it because I don't think I give a fuck that much. So I was like, why don't you do the same thing that I did? Why don't you put your shoes above your clothes like this, you know? And then you just grab them as you need them. I am pretty tall, so I can reach the high one. Anyway, he's like, actually, I just don't want to get dirt and dust on top of my clean clothes. And I'm like, that is a really good point. But I don't think I care enough. I mean, whatever. Like, I'm walking on the sidewalk, and the cars are kicking up all this sorts of fucking dirt. Just as long as there's not shit and gooey stuff falling on top of my clothes. I don't think I give enough of a fuck. So for now, the closet stays this way. And the way I have organized it thus far, it will change. Um, I have like mini skirts, mid skirts, long skirts, um, like spaghetti strap dresses, sleeve, shorter sleeve dresses. Um, I don't know. I guess these are still, I got mixed it up. Uh, long sleeve dresses. I have rompers. And then I have the spaghetti shirts, spaghetti strap shirts, bodysuits, um, short sleeve, quarter sleeves, regular short shirts. These aren't quarter sleeves, they're just regular shirts. And then it goes to quarter sleeves and then long sleeves, button ups, uh, and then just kind of like long sweaterish types. And then to sweaters, to jackets, to big sweaters to really thick sweaters, long sweaters, and blah, blah, blah. So that's, oh, and my freaking crazy array of different pants. I'm actually pretty proud of my pant collection. 
You guys have literally seen me wear every single one of these pants. Like, every single one. Like, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, so that's my closet update. But I kind of have to stop right now in the organizing because Hey Bitch, our podcast, is going to be um, airing in next week. And I do want to have a little website up for us. I am currently working on the website. So that's kind of taking, uh, that's kind of the important thing right now. Yeah, but this shit stresses me out. Whoops. This stuff right here. Like, when I don't know where to put things. Like, this isn't where it's going to stay. So that stresses me out. The room over here stresses me out. Like, that stresses me. This stresses me the fuck out. Because I have to find a bunch of different things. Like, to organize all this. Because if I just throw it in here, it's a mess. And that's going to stress me out. Do we understand the theme right now? I easily get stressed when things are not organized. So that's stressing me out. Um, this is stressing me out. Like we have so much storage, but it's big storage. So I want to, wait, that's the wrong one. So I want to do it where everything has its like little like case and I just well, like I just want one-handed operation. I want everything to be organized. I want to know where everything is at once. I don't want to be digging through a bunch of things. So I need to buy a lot of that storage. What I did yesterday that I thought was really smart of me because I liked it for myself. Um, I did this. I took pictures, if you have an iPhone, I don't know about Androids, but I took pictures of my closets and stuff. And let me show you, I measured it. So that when I buy stuff, I can reference it. So let me show you. Let me see. Okay, ready? So I did this. So I would measure it and then write the measurement so that I know what I'm trying to buy. Let me see. I hope it's focused. Sorry if it's not. Let's see. So now when I go and shop for stuff. I know exactly what I need to get. Whoops. So yeah. That just going ham. He, he tells us every day when there's dog poop. Yeah, but the yard's still kind of the same way. We're still finalizing a few things. For those of you that don't know, basketball court, like a per, per I forgot what the fuck it's called, but it's like a shaded area. Um, what the hell did I just kill a bug? Oh my god, that is so sad. I am so sorry. Oh god. And then on that side, yeah, and then a pool, and then like a big grass area. But our fucking backyard's too huge, y'all. Still not used to this. Yeah. But anyway, I was talking about the website. And this is what I'm working on. I'm not good. I just go through GoDaddy and they already have like presets and stuff. So if you want a quick website, that's not gonna look like crazy amazing, but it's something. Here you go. So I just have to go through and fill stuff out. Like this is a default setting. Like I didn't do anything there. Yeah, so I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna give another 30 minutes. I think I've been working on this for too long. Trying to decide like stupid colors, stupid fonts, stupid picture. Yeah, I'm just going with this. So check us out, heybitch.com. And it's heybtch, because we're not writing the whole thing out, dot com. So now I'm meeting up with Papa, because we just finished our shooting our podcast with special guest Jess. And we are now done with that. And we are in Arcadia for a little mom bear, pop bear time. And we're going to have a little date. Ooh. I think we're going to go bowling, right? That's why I even wore the shirt that mama got me. Because uh, I want to be actually connected with mom bear. Between the you know what's bear. cutie? What? I wore the... Um, the Tomb Raider outfit. Oh, this. It looks nice. I wore... The perfume that you said you really, really like. Yeah, it smells really good. The minute I smell that, I was like, ooh, my smells so good. Yeah, hold on. There's the music's too loud. All right, so we're inside the mall right now. 
And now I remember why I never go to malls. It is crazy in here. It's like packed, it's really fucking loud. Um, and there's just so much shopping to do. Not a big fan, but I think we just found our bowling alley. I think I know where it is. So we spent some time together. Now we're back home and reunited with the monkey dude, the monkey dude. Papa, you wanna know what was crazy today? What? So because this is a new property, I had the insurance needed to send out an inspector so they could take pictures of the property. So I guess when, if we make a claim, it's not, something's already not broken. So you had to come out and just inspect, kind of like when you get a car, yeah, a used car, and then they have to take pictures of it. Yeah. Um. So the inspector had to come and then our toilets were clogged. Yeah. All of them, you remember, they're yes. clogged for like three days. Yes. Which is rare because this house is so new. We've only I lived mean. here. Yeah, we only lived here for a month. Yeah. So I needed a plumber to come out. And then you last minute scheduled some people to install some speakers, which are up the, there. Like, that, the lady that's been working with us is super nice. She's like, oh, my installer has a slot open. You want to do it? And I was like, yeah. oh, let's do it. I'm yeah. a little test right now. Hold on, pause it. And I needed to meet with you. I needed to leave here by 1.30, the latest, so that I can get to our podcast in time because yeah. we're meeting with Jess. Yeah. Um, so everyone came. So That's first it was, time. yeah, first it was the speaker guy came at 12. Yeah. Then it was the inspector. Um, he came at uh, like 1. Yeah. And then the plumber came at 1. So I was literally like shaking people's hands and I was like, can we gonna make it on time? And then the speaker people left. Yeah. And then the installer left, and then the plumber left. And I was nice. like, Hell you're yeah! A, you're a I mean, I didn't do much, but it was pretty crazy because I had to like move the the bear, the bears, the dogs from room to room to room oh, yeah, to avoid right. people. people yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I couldn't keep them in here because the speaker guys. Yeah. I couldn't keep them outside because the people inspector uh, was looking the at the was looking. So when I had and I couldn't do the garage because. The sewer drain is in the garage. Oh, I know, dude. it was fucking crazy. So I, had, I yeah, did. Yeah. I had to. I had to. That's fine. But that was my day before being with you. You're that was nuts. That's what that's what kissing bars like. Are you ready? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't want any copyright claims, so I'm gonna cut it. Okay. Alright, y'all. So I just did my nails. Again, because I'm, I don't know. It's not like I'm trying to save money, but if I can just do it myself, why won't I? So I went with this like little pink, and then for my toes, I went super duper 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 white. Um, and I have had girls DM me. Oh, what nail polish do you get? Where do you get it from? I just go to Amazon and I get something that's, um, that's highly rated. We're watching Thor, and by we, I mean me. I'm watching it, but this is my setup. I have my Sun UV machine. Also got it from um, Amazon. It's pretty cool. It does a trick. Got 30 seconds and 60 seconds. I love it. Oh. <laughs> and then I got this, like a nail machine, um, portable. And then on the bottom, it has all the little, um, like attachments. But then what's cool is this down here is also a little UV. So then I can. Dry my nails like this, but I feel like this is gonna take forever, so I don't use this one. But it's a cool little. So I have these, and then I have these are the nail polish I bought. I don't know if they're good or not. So if you buy it, buy it at your own risk. I'm not recommending shit. But I have a top coat and I have a base coat, so I always put the base, and then I finish it with the top coat. And then, this is the white I used. It's alright. Nothing too crazy. It kind of just looked like what I've seen at the salons. I don't even know if it's the right name. It could be a crazy ass knockoff. And then, for the pinks and stuff, I just got like a bunch of pinks and it's this. There's a bunch of them in here. Let's see. Don't really 
be like this and just different shades of pink all the way to like not so pigmented white it's not as white as this but it's like um i don't know like a dewy white yeah so this is my setup y'all and then i bought just some extra ones just in case i needed them i haven't used them yet but this is only five bucks so why not okay well anyway that's what i just finished doing it is 11 22 so gonna let this guy go to sleep clean this up and i'm gonna go to sleep thank you guys so much for watching sorry for my boring day i mean it just involves a lot of unpacking but it's gonna start getting fun because i'm gonna start buying jewelry and stuff what the fuck did i just say did i just say jewelry furniture that feels like I'm gonna buy jewelry because furniture is so fucking expensive. So I'm gonna start buying furniture. Why did I say jewelry? I'm tired, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Why did I say jewelry? <laughs>